uh, I thank the INSAP for this invitation to participate in this panel on the draft plan. Um, we derived from the day when the government announced the Shared Prosperity 2030 vision, uh, we in MIR, when I came back as chairman recently or last year in April, we started a series of research projects and reorganized some of our personnel in relation to towards how to achieve that 2030 vision. That include reviewing its growth projections and some of the strategies that are involved in them. I have prepared some slides uh, and I would like to share that with you uh, now uh, as, as it's being prepared. I have some technical problems here, but we'll do that. Uh, the, so the end product of our exercise was in fact to to uh, devise what is called what we call the National Economic Reset Plan, which is to address the issue of structural transformation of the economy, um, and uh, and and also to deal with the long-term issues rather than purely the response to COVID-19, which we also monitored and and announced some of our projections and results, and that uh, we are doing also some more studies on the impact of COVID-19. But until the uh, implementation of vaccination is uh, ongoing and herd, herd community uh, will be achieved, uh, we think that the recovery back to a new normal or recovery to the growth path that we want to achieve will probably take two years by 2021. 21 and 22. Can you change? And also, um, and uh, the um, the NARP, we have present. Go back. We, sorry, we have to go. Uh, we have presented the NARP to the uh, government after we have revised this year's uh, recession rate to five percent in excess of five percent and to recover by next year to 6 or 7%, which is what is a common understanding now or common projection. And also the, um, um, the and we have presented this to the EPU, to the government. Uh, it involves some radical trans transformations, but if you look at this picture, you'll see the necessity for that transformation. Uh, that uh, over the last uh, few years, since uh, the high growth pace in the 90, in the eight, in the 90s, uh, and after the what you call uh, Asian crisis of 98, economic financial crisis of 98, we have been trending down, or the average growth path is along that black line, uh, which is about 4.5%. Down that the trend got worse because of the impact of COVID, as you can see from those projections. And the green part is our new revision to get back to the growth path uh, that we expect for the vision 2030. Um, we have, as with the Najib administration since 2000, been uh, going down in terms of industrialization and have in fact been caught in what is called the middle income trap that Mr. Lee also uh, identified earlier. And that how to get back from this uh, new recession to achieve in this case uh, greater growth back to our historical path is the key issue. And uh, we know that during that period, um, uh, manufacturing contribution to value added as well as to employment has been declining. On the right, this graph shows our per capita or output per capita according to our share of non-GDP oil. And it has been bending backwards, it's stagnant since 2000 and bending backwards from uh, up to 2011. And uh, of course with the COVID uh, it has become, become even probably worse. Uh, and on the left uh, is, and this, this is called the premature deindustrialization that Jomo and Raja Rasya and others have commented on, on a Rodic principle. And um, 
you know, uh, this is largely due to a lack of investment that um, Sukhdev Singh recently also wrote about uh, for the impact on capital social formation have been declining, meaning investment have been declining, and the fact that we have been focused more on on um, what you call uh, on uh, um, uh, consumption to drive our economy, and that consumption is based on uh, on debt, and that we have got a very huge debt overhang, and so fiscal consolidation is required. But uh, COVID, however, uh, forces us to consider, or the government to consider, more spending, and it is in fact constrained by this uh, fiscal limitation. And so we need to re find back a situation where we can regenerate the economy through, uh, for, through investment, through public uh, investment and private investment, foreign and domestic, uh, so that we can attain the, uh, the original growth path, or the growth path of about 7% to achieve the target of uh, Vision 2020, 2030 to become a developed nation. Uh, uh, therefore, there are four uh, and there are a few priorities that we we have identified, which includes uh, industrial reindustrialization, which is the key picture to achieve Industry 4.0 and going beyond that, the post-industrial society. Uh, we talk about uh, new agricultural technology, about reskilling, which I will be able to discuss about. We have also focused on the Islamic uh, financial sector and uh, rearranging the, 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 the banking system to incorporate digital, bank, digital banking and uh, to associate, uh, to include, to achieve financial inclusion. We talk about the role, the role of the third pillar, which is the NGOs as a partner, and that knowing that the trickling down process has already been acknowledged as not successful in the years of the development aid promoted by IMF and World Bank and other multilateral agencies, as well as advanced country governments. That is the, the process of growth does not, through the trickling down by focusing on key sectors and on the government's role, does not reach down that far, down to the bottom 40%. And therefore, the need to in, reach out for uh, human development and um, uh, and um, uh, what do you call the social safety net and social formation. And in that context, then uh, uh, we are talking about a new um, community-based uh, development from the bottom up, which is an old idea, but uh, has of course been set aside because of the Washington consensus and, and the fact that you are, you are approaching, lo looking at um, uh, focused uh, top-down uh, in projects. Now, and that of course include uh, uh, the small scale sector, uh, the SME sector of course is for the 12th Malaysia plan to me, to us in MIR is a key intervention and not just in terms of financing, but also in terms of technology and innovation, and in terms of globalizing its uh, market, so that in this case, uh, we can uh, bring us back to the uh, transformation path. And, and that requires the use of new communication technologies, promotion of the digital economy, uh, fintech, and the rest. Um, when we looked at the whole proposal of the SVP 2030, uh, there is the need to move away, as I mentioned, from you know, a consumption-based economy to a high-wage economy, which can only be achieved by uh, increased productivity. And so, and that, and also investment in new cent growth centers and from an industri industrialization point of view. And this diagram captures some of the, our uh, work, uh, including the six areas uh, that uh, behind the NERP, which is the National Economic Research Plan. Next. Um, so uh, to to achieve that, we on the basis of 
seeking to reindustrialize in so far as that will create a spillover effects and multiplier effects on the rest of the economy, including wages uh, through increased productivity. We created a plan inside a plan called the Crouching Tiger Plan, meaning that it is the industrial development plan, which uh, we have uh, we want to submit to METI so that it can be incorporated into the fourth industrial plan that they are working on. In respect of uh, this Couching Tiger, we assigned about uh, 28 uh, MOUs with several um, uh, partners, both as funders, as, uh, as uh, what you call uh, uh, promoters of projects, and so on through our industrial research bureau and then it focuses on so-called uh, seven leapfrog technologies to transform the economy and this include the electric car or the eev the hydrogen economy uh, the in terms of telecommunication you're going to 5g immediately for us to be enabled at all of those new innovations in finance and in transport and in energy issues as well, including then the third uh, renewable energy on agricultural technology, we call it uh, agrodome technology and on advanced transport and logistics uh, through Hyperloop and other say um, what you call flash uh, technology, vacuum flash technology and also in terms of some uh, financial inclusion measures we call here the goal equity plan. All of these have been presented to the uh, government and we have about 17 partners now ready to implement some of these projects. We are shifting the bureau's activities now away from, um, from this uh, industrial research and back to economic policy work. We are by creating about four centers on uh, social infrastructure, uh, one that includes health, education and housing and to uh, the center for energy transition to uh, what's renewable energy and green technology green energy uh, in respect of um, uh, uh, in dealing with the issues of climate change and we are talking about as a new center for financial and fiscal policy and then of course uh, our bread and butter on growth and distribution and so those are four new areas uh, which we will launch after this uh, from next year when the rest of the issue about the Cutting Tiger Plan is uh, mm, will be brought under a private uh, equity grouping that uh, is, has been created as a sister organization to MIER. And uh, on the left hand side, just to summarize, are the priorities in the NERP that we have proposed. I was beginning with the issue of reindustrialization for which the Couching Tiger Plan is a key. Um, second, maximizing the impact of new communication technologies, whether it is 5G or 6G, and there is a proposal to establish a new telco media company called Mango, um, which will be launched next year. Three, there is a building uh, basic infrastructure for transport and logistics to create a new network that will make us the most connected and uh, central um, uh, holistic hub for the whole of ASEAN and in the context of the RCEP uh, multilateral agreement, it will be quite critical. And then of course the issue of energizing the SME, we have got a, a project to uh, to launch the um, uh, and a kind of e-payment system and that includes a uh, facility for, um, I recall, uh, using it as a guarantee against uh, a loan at the micro or micro or mid uh, financial level. Um, on, fourthly, on the issue of uh, transforming education, we know that and we call it a new C4.0 project, which includes STEM and TVET arrangements in a new way of organizing university education. Uh, we hope to launch that also sometime next year. Um, there is the where we are seeking in this case 
the need to liberalize the, the Islamic financial sector. We have been very strong in the Sukuk market. We are a leader in uh, ba Islamic banking, which we should not now go to the next stage. Uh, and then uh, in social infrastructure, of course, there is uh, the national has health reform, especially establishing a national health trust. And uh, nine, eight, number eight is very critical for us. That is that we have also proposed a universal basic income plan as part of this NERP, as well as being, as I said, the NGO, and of course, redesigning, most particularly the implementation model. We have great plans, we have great policies, but we are very poor in implementation. Therefore, the reform of the public sector, a very strong and stable government, uh, visionary in terms of its uh, uh, foresight and uh, efficient in its delivery. And, uh, and of course, in this case, instead of politics driving economics, economics should drive politics. That is our position. Next. Um, so uh, to summarize the to summarize, I want to next page. Um, go forward. Sorry, uh, that we have, we have lost here. Go ahead. Uh, go up. Go forward. No, all right. Uh, okay. So just to, to summarize, uh, we are all in a position to implement some of these projects under the Cutting Tiger. Uh, Crushing Tiger Plan. Uh, we also have recommended to government a whole financial plan for the 12th Malaysia plan. And uh, we hope, and through our public sector initiative, to assist the government in achieving the Vision 2030 goals. So that's uh, my contribution. I hope it sort of gives uh, some basis for thought. And thank you very much for the opportunity. <laughs>